It's all fun and games when Megan, the childhood doll, is brought home to play with. That is, until she starts killing people. Let's talk about Me Thregan, as this movie is titled. I should point out this is going to be a spoiler-free review, but if you've seen any horror film from the 90s, you already know exactly how this thing's going to play out. And that is both a pro and a con of Megan. It's a by-the-numbers, straightforward picture that has no surprises, but it's damn fun and it's very competently executed. Visually, it's pretty, the music's cool, Megan sings, she dances, she frolics, she slaughters. If you're looking for a slasher, though, this is a PG-13 affair. In fact, it's something that my, like, 10-year-old son could watch, no problem. There's no nudity or sexual content of any sort. There's very little swearing. In fact, I think there's only the one mandatory F-bomb dropped. Because it's PG-13, they can get away with dropping one F-bomb, and every one of these scary PG-13 movies uses it. It's kind of lame, to be honest, because it feels so out of nowhere, like, oh, we're swearing now, and then never again. Speaking of scares, there's none of those either. This isn't a frightening movie. This isn't that type of film. There's one jump scare total, and even then it's very tepid. It's very like, eh, okay, well, all right, let's move on. Think of this as a modern Chucky in all senses of the term modern. It has no balls on it. It censors itself. It's very pretty looking. But at the end of the day, you watch it, you kind of enjoy it, and then you move on with your life. And they'll make probably three more of them because it'll do very well because of that dancing scene on TikTok everybody likes to do. <sighs> if you treat Megan like the dark comedy that it is, you'll have a pleasant experience like I did. Again, if you're even remotely familiar with a story structure and foreshadowing and whatnot, you'll have this whole movie planned out before the 30 minute mark. You can still enjoy the ride, though, like I did. Uh, this is a good start to 2023, honestly. Megan is about exactly how I thought it was going to go down. Some really funny dialogue, some creative scenes here and there. They have a lot of fun with this intelligent robot doll that's causing trouble and smart enough to its owner. The focus of the film is on a young 9- or 10-year-old girl. I believe her name is Caddy. Katie, something like that. Uh, she and the aunt and their relationship, it's, it's not great because the aunt's kind of a trash individual. Hopefully by the end of this film she grows as a character and uh, learns to love a little bit more, you know? Only time will tell in this hour and 45 minute film. Yes, it is under two hours. A movie that knows not to overstay its welcome as well. So it's doing competent things and that's enough kind of for me at the movies nowadays to just be a competent experience that I can get in and get out and not feel like I wasted my time. So good job, Megan. A good start to what I can only imagine will be a new franchise for a new generation. Have you seen this movie already? Let me know what you thought in the comments below. I'm eager to hear from you. Please think about liking and subscribing to the channel if you haven't. I post tons of movie reviews, rants, and other movie-related content each and every week. Would love to keep growing the channel, and I can do that with people like you. Now, if you excuse me, I have to go watch some more Megan and Wednesday Adam shorts. <laughs> this is content. This is content.